Hey, it's 3D Beast again, and so far on the machine gun, we got the main body done. When I ended the video, I finished doing the inside of these, and I just scaled the front down a little bit to make it look like uh, more of a real thing. So now what we're going to make, we're going to make the handle, the trigger, and maybe some of the snap stuff up there. But yeah, so we're going to add a cube and do the same thing that we did with this, with the main body to make it look like not as square like make it look a little round like sandwich curve one two yeah there thanks you can kill r bring it down to the bottom make it perfectly thin and it's already thin again so now we start again you can round it out now that we have all those it'll be easier to round it out and stuff so we do all this oh yeah Okay, so now it might take a while to finish the handle. If you're going to add a bunch of these. Ah, oh, crap. Never mind. And I forgot to scale it down. That's smart, right? Second time. Okay, so now that you have this, you have to scale it down. Yeah. And I think that just wasted like three minutes of me messing up. So, yeah. Okay, so now you do it. Mess up a lot. I'm just saying. But I think everybody does, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that you have that, you could do make it look like this little curve so it's not like a fail. And I'm just gonna do control R to add like a little more detail to the front so make it a little pointed. Then you can add that to the bottom, make it look all cool and stuff. And then this is what it looks like when you just go into regular mode. It's not that good. Because, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong there. Something. Oh, yeah. Um, I shouldn't have done like, control R because it's in the angled area. So if I wanted to do control R, I'd have to move this down. I would just move this down to do control R up at the top. Like right over here. So then I could do that. And there, now it looks better. Not much, but still better. So, move that so it's like that. Move that so it's like that. Move this so it's like that. Move this up a little. And you can't really, if you have it in Z, you can't really check if the shading is good um, until you switch to Z again. Like, you can't check while you're working on it. Okay, so I finished the main bit part of the handle and the rest is simple. You just extrude it once, right click. And then you can like bring it up and stuff. And that just covers pretty much like half the handle. And this you don't really have to make it look uh, too good. You just like move it inside the gun wherever you want to make it look like sort of a curve. And I'm just going to add a little more detail right there. Hit the control R to make it look a little more rounded because that was like the point. And there you go, you have a semi crappy handle. Yay. <laughs> then just fix it up a little bit if you like messed up like I did. So it looks like a terrible. And there you have it, you have a handle. Okay, so now we're going to the trigger. Um, for the trigger, I'm not gonna make the, I'm not gonna bother to make new objects. I'm just going in this one. Add cube. You gotta make sure that you make it a lot skinnier than the handle because triggers aren't usually this like thicker, so that'd be weird. Uh, just going to Z, Z again, and you should probably scale it down like not too, eh, not like we did before, just like to Z on the Z axis, so that it's thin enough. And it's not too thick, but it's, it's it's good. So we just um so for this you don't just rotate, and for this you don't just like extrude it. You actually have to rotate it sometimes, otherwise it looks like this, which is not too good because it's like that thick, and that's like super thin, which we don't really want because that looks bad. So. 
Yeah, so just rotate a little bit. Because right now we're just, like, starting on our track. Gotta scale that down a bit. That's decent. Okay, there. So, yeah, so you can just rotate that 90 degrees by clicking R of the 90. Then we extrude it. Rotate. Extrude it again. Rotate it again. Extrude it again. Rotate. And when you rotate it, it makes it a little thicker, so you should probably scale it down a bit every time you rotate it. Uh, just saying. Scale it down a bit. And rotate. Scale that up a bit. And there you go. We have the handle thing for the trigger. Uh, but some of it's like doesn't look rounded. If some of it doesn't look round enough, you can just do Control R and move it a bit to make it look better. And you gotta make sure that it goes in the gun when you're done with it, because otherwise it would look really weird. Uh, but mine's a little too thick, so I'm just gonna select the whole thing. And scale it down sideways. And that should be good. Okay, so, th still in the same mob deck, we're going to add a... Uh, we're going to add the trigger, which will just be another cube. You have to make this one really, really thin. Even thinner than the handle. Okay, so probably that would be good. Um, since it's not really round, it's just like a handle, they're just squares pretty much in different shapes. You can just move it, you don't have to do the thing you do with the handle or the actual body. So you just move that up, move it over there. And I'm probably mumbling a lot, so yeah. Extrude it, move the piece over, extrude it again. And you want to make sure that you don't scale it down because that would look really weird. And it would look like this. It just goes into like a random point where all that splash will look really bad. So I'm just going to control do that and move it into place. So now we want to make the hole in this. You just do Control R until you have it in the right, correct place. I'm just going to make mine a square because it's really hard to make circle holes and stuff. So you have that. Then just go to Face Slap, click twice, then delete face. And then you got to do the same thing that you did up there with the selecting tube, then clicking face, so it's not hollow. And there you go. You pretty much have the trigger. But if you don't like the shape of it, you can just like move it along because it's square. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the look. Mm -hmm. And then I want to control R to make it look like less of a square, but not really a circle yet. I mean, not really a circle yet, ever. And just move this out. Move this out. Move this out. Now you have a hexagon. Yay! Or octagon or something. And there you go. And that's your trigger and your handle. And I don't know how long this video is so far, so I'm just going to finish with part two. So, bye, I guess. And part three, I'm probably going to make um, the back uh, and the front if I have time. So, yeah, see ya.